What's up guys, today we're gonna rip some 2019 Topps Chrome Mega Boxes. I've got four of them, it's about $1,000 in Topps Chrome, we're hunting for Tatis. First we're gonna check out the wax prices, then we're gonna rip, let's go. So about a week ago, I made this video called Big Money in Baseball Cards. These releases should skyrocket. I didn't think they were gonna skyrocket this quick, but it happened. Let's go check out the wax prices real quick. So 2019 Topps Chrome is what we're talking about. And the jumbo at the time was 700. Now it's about 850. The hobby was around 380. Now we're looking at 450. Blaster 110, now it's 150. The fat pack, also called the value pack, was 50 now it's a hundred the mega box was 150 jumped up a hundred bucks to 250 look at the difference in dollar per card in like a week you guys i i hope some people could use that information and get in before it skyrocketed i put my money where my mouth is and we're gonna do a little rip right now and see if it paid off i'm super stoked super excited about this after I did the research for that last video, I went out and bought some of these because, I mean, I, you, can't, you can't beat the price. At least you couldn't at the time. But as you saw, it went from 150 to 250 for these, if you can even find them. The only place I found them was Dave and Adams. And, you know, they jacked up the price by 100 bucks, which I told you it was underpriced. And it took about a week for the market to adjust. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the individual prices of these cards, but here's some of the stuff that you can potentially get. Other than that, you can only get the sepia version in the blaster box, but you can get the prism. Of course, you can get the base. You can't get the pink. Those are only out of the value packs, but you can get the X Fractor, which I don't have, which I want so bad. Let's just do it. Gotta get into it. Oh, Clayton Claus, if you ever were to bring me luck, now is going to be that time, my friend. So it's not just about Tatis. It's about all of the other cards that hold value in this set. Not only Tatis, but Pete Alonso rookies, Eloy rookies, Vlad rookies. There's even Kyle Tucker rookies, which he's going he's gonna to make a name for himself this year, probably. He's a really talented player. And... Even like a Soto Cup card, there are Cup cards in here that hold a good amount of value, especially if you can get them in the, the X-Fractor variety. I mean, that's that's what this is really all about for me, is getting the X-Fractor Tatis, because it is about a $1,500 card in a gem. So, you know, we're talking, so I paid six hundred dollars for these four boxes right around there and now it is about a thousand dollars so you know for 600 bucks we'll see we'll, we'll add it all up but look you get quite a few packs you get these two x-factor packs and there's just so much gravy in here come on let's see what we can get there's an acuna so right there just like it's you wouldn't think much like okay it's an acuna card but we'll check it out Check it out and see what it's all about. There we go. So it's the Acuna Cup card. And it looks OC. So that's that's not gonna gem up. It's it's too too thin down there at the bottom. I don't think it will, but let's see. Any scratches? I don't see any scratches, but that's a phenomenal card. If you can gem that up, you're talking about, you know, at least a hundred. 150, maybe something like that. I'm gonna lower this down just a touch so we have a better angle. But that is a nice card, so we're gonna put it in the good card pile. I wanted to show you, so this is some of the stuff that you can get out of here that's worth sending away to get graded, in my opinion. Of course, that you can't get the CPO, we already talked about that. But a simple insert like that is worth good money. The Soto Cup, good money. These, we got some pinks. You can get the McNeil rookie out of here too and the Kyle Tucker, the forgotten guys. Now McNeil doesn't hold a ton of value and Kyle Tucker isn't crazy priced right now, but they're they're both solid. McNeil's a high average guy, solid player. 
And Kyle Tucker is going to probably burst onto the scene this year. Of course, we've got the Alonzos. And this is what I'm talking about with the X-Fractors. The Soto Cup card X-Fractor. I think that's about a $250 card in a gem. So these are just like, I don't want to say random cards that you can get that are worth money, but they're valuable cards that you can get that you might not think about. Or maybe you didn't think about it at the time. So if you have some of these cards in your collection from years past, maybe check them out. Look at just like that, like a Mookie. Mookie Refractor. I, I don't know what, what it's worth. It's probably raw, not worth that much, but looks like it's in great condition and potentially worth sending away because these refractors are really desirable. I didn't even know till I started looking into it, but even the Tatis, just the Tatis refractor and a gem is like an $1,100 card. And you get quite a few refractors out of these packs. Let's look. One out of four is a refractor and one out of 10 is the prism. So you would think that the prisms would be more valuable than the refractors, but a prism Tatis is only, a PSA 10 is only about 625 and the refractor is like 1100. So, you know, these, pr these prices fluctuate. By the time you watch this video, it might be completely different. But right before I started filming, I looked up some of these prices and that's what I found. And those are sold listings. Sold. That's the best way to go about it. A lot of people wonder how to find out the value of the cards. Just go to eBay and then make sure you filter via sold listings. That's the easiest way. Adames Cup card. Yeah, I went back through. I probably I probably gave away $2,000 worth of Topps Chrome cards over the years just to people getting into breaks. I just add a few Chrome cards if they didn't get anything good. I gave away I gave away Acuna Pinks, Refractors, X-Fractors like this, Soto Cup cards, just anything you can and now they're worth a ton of money. At the time, maybe not so much, at least raw, but send them away, get them gemmed up, and they are quite valuable. A Bryce Wilson refractor. You know, I'm going, I'm going through these motions not expecting to get any good cards. I don't know why, that's just the way I roll. So when I do actually get a good card, I'm through the roof with excitement. Especially if we get that Tatis. My boy. Nothing crazy so far. But we haven't got to the good stuff. Yes! Astudio. Everybody knows I love him. Here he is! Yeah, baby! Look at that. So, I told you earlier that that's about a $350 card. Just a base card. The base set is 204 cards, so it's not that hard to pull. Let's get the handy dandy cloth out. Wipe off the little fluffies. And it is nicely centered. I think we've got a gem on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Any scratches? No, sir. No, sirree. Just a little piece of fluff right on that corner. Excellent. And I'm just putting them right into card savers because I'm working on a PSA submission right now and I wanted to get a few more to send away. So we paid for the break. I uh, mean, what? Doubled, tripled our money. Maybe by the time, by the time I get this card back, maybe quadrupled it because this card's probably going to go up again. All right. Yeah. Astudio is the good luck charm. Who knew? Who knew? Should, should we? Hold on a second. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Should we start using Williams as a good luck? Maybe. I'm going to put him in a little sleeve and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest him right on top of those X Fractor packs. Maybe he will do the trick. Yes! I'm so happy I got a Tatis. Woo! Fired up. 
fired up, baby. Because I opened a lot of this stuff, you guys. One of the first long live streams I ever did was 2019 Tops Chrome. I bought a ton of the, the value packs that have the pink refractors. I mean, I opened probably $350. And at the time, that was just, you know, I think 10, they're either 10, 10 or 20 bucks retail. And that was a lot of money. And I only think, I think I only got one Tatis. If you go back and watch that video, it was like, I'm like, I'm going to be ripping all night. I'll drive to the store if I have to and get some more of these. Because you could just drive to the store back when these came out and just buy as many as you wanted at Walmart. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the store and buy more of these if I don't get a Tatis. And after like eight hours of ripping, finally got a Tatis Chrome. So that's one of the, I mean, I've got this, I don't know what the opposite of nostalgia, anti-nostalgia, like this, this memory of not being able to get any Chrome Tatis is. Here's the good stuff, guys. If Cedric Mullins was a good player, can you imagine? Mm, mm. So anything that is even remotely good out of these X-Fractors is valuable. And if I can get a Tatis, oh my, come on, baby. That is not bad. Kopech, he's going to be making his debut this year, and he has some heat. Trevor Bauer. So I'm considering sending this away, actually, right now. Let's just see how she looks. Oh, she looks good. Uh, what's up with that little corner? I think it's good enough. I mean, I don't even need to wipe that one off, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe there's a little fluff right there. Who knows? This this is a potential. I I don't I don't think it has much value right now. But the White Sox are a contender. And they need pitching in the worst way. They need this guy. They need Kopech to come out and throw heat. And if he comes out and performs like many people think he can, maybe that card holds a little value. Come on, baby. Corey Seeger. Miggy. Cano. Stewart. Chance Adams. So, kind of a bust. Not for the Tatis, but the X-Fractors. Kind of a bust. But not a big deal, because look, we got some more. We got some more of this stuff. And um, I'm going to go with Astudio is not a lucky card. So we'll set them aside. And Clayton Claus and Celix. Man, Clayton just, whew. My Clayton never lets us down, does he? Come on, baby. Box number two. And let's just get hog wild with the bill hook. If you enjoy the video, hook me up with a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. Give me a subscribe, too. Go to strikerbreaks.com and put your email address in there. Subscribe to the channel. That way I can get a hold of you if we're doing something fun. Man, these boxes are so enormous. Oh, there's so many packs. I love these mega boxes. I love them. True love. Look at how many packs there are. Just every single pack has huge potential. Hope to see an Astudio. There's a Kyle Tucker. I don't know that I'm going to send the base Kyle Tucker away at this point, but I am going to put him in the good card pile. I've got a, a pink, and I think I sent away a Kyle Tucker X-Fractor rookie with my last submission. And everybody knows that it takes, you know, a solid eight months to get your cards back when you send them bulk. So this looks like a different collation. We'll see what happens out of this box. Got a Chris Sale refractor. So what did we get? One refractor, maybe two out of that last. I think I might have put one of the refractors in the, 
in the base pile over here. I should probably just keep keep the prisms and the refractors all in one pile, just so we can see what we ended up with. I think that would be fun. There's the prisms, there's the X-ray. We only got one prism out of there, so those are like one in 10 packs. Makes sense. I mean, I would love a color. I mean, we're not even talking about the color. If you get that Tatis in a numbered parallel, it's worth so much that I don't even think you can find one listed. You can barely find them. Like people just get cards like that and they put them in their PC and they don't come out for sale. You might be able to find one here and there, but. Take McCutcheon, another Rizzo, Odour. So we like those horizontals because that means, I mean, I don't like horizontal cards normally, but if it's a Tati set, I, I make an exception. Kyle Hendricks, Refractor, Bregman, and a Barucky. Oh, there we go. That's a nice card. That is worthy of sending away. I think it's about a $100 card. Looks like it has a little dimple right there, so I'm not sending that one. That's one, one thing. It's scratches and dimples that you have to worry about with these cards. So unfortunately, that one's not going to go away, but it is one of the cards we're looking for. Between the Acuna and the Soto, both of those cup cards are quite desirable. It's a Mookie. There's a trout. Oh, look at that big scratch down the trout. Poor guy. I don't know if it doesn't look like a deep scratch. I wonder if that's just a scuff. Oh, it's just a scuff, I think. Yeah, I think. Yep, that's just a scuff. Okay, good. Because that's a sweet card. I had the pink version of this trout. This is just a base trout. And I had the pink, sent it away, got a gem, a couple hundred dollars, sold it. So that is cool. Put, put him in, putting him in the good card pile. Because as much as I like Trout, I don't really PC Trout. I've got a PC of Trout, but he's not a guy that I collect. I usually, I like rookies. If I had a Trout rookie, I'd be super happy. Look at that! We got a, a negative. I love the negatives. That's, that's where Clayton Claus came from. We got a Goldschmidt negative out of there. Oh, I mean, could you imagine getting one of the big, one of the big boys in the negative? Once again, we're talking a four-figure card. That is awesome. I love them. Love the negatives. Those are pretty tough. One out of 66 packs. So, yeah. Cool. Goldschmidt negative. If you guys want to join the Patreon, the link is below. Patreon is a way to help support the channel, and as a benefit for you, I email all the slammers, that's what we call the patrons, email the slammers when I list a break, and they get first dibs, and gobble up the breaks before the public can get in usually. Aaron Sanchez Refractor, haven't seen an Elo yet, haven't seen a Pete. Brandon Lau rookie, that's not too bad. Dude is really good. Let me put him in the good card pile. Frankie. I don't think it's worthy. I don't know what his hobby is. I don't think it's that great. It one, one day it may be worthy of sending away. Probably not right now. All right, here we go. Is there anything extra lucky that we can just... I suppose I could... I put my good luck bracelet on there, my world champion bracelet for winning my third poker championship. Texas Hold'em. All right, here, we'll open it like this so we can't see the back. Just in case it's a huge card, don't wanna, don't wanna give it away. Okay, the good stuff. There's a Kyle Tucker. That's a that's a big potential card. Big potential right there. 
Prius. I'm going to scope it out. It looks it looks really good. These X fractors are usually in excellent condition. It may be a little OC. That bottom looks a little thin. But being as valuable potentially as a card like this, I think I'm gonna send it away. It's just too Two, what did we say those were? One out of 66 packs. I mean, realistically, we should not even get one through this whole opening. That's a nice card. Otani Cup. Good card pile. Dylan Bundy, Arcia, Polanco. Another Kopech. And surprisingly, you know, I, I pulled a, it was an Acuna and a Trout, a gold to 50 out of this stuff. And that card has quite a bit of value too. One of those cards at the time, I was like, yeah, decent card, cool card. Oh, is that it? Mm. 
It looks like a gold right there, but I think it's not. I don't think it is. The O'Hearn Rookie Refractor. Yeah, that's that Rosario. It just looks like a gold when you're approaching it. Mmm. Mm -mm. Not a lot of prisms. I think the prism is underpriced. I might have to buy another prism. I think it should be a thousand dollars. If the refractor's a thousand, the prism should be a thousand. Yes! Yes! What is up? Two of them. Yeah, baby. No scratches. Yes. Hmm. Oh yeah, what a beauty. Let's go! I can't believe we got two of them. He just popped right up in there, didn't he? We didn't even see an Estudio. Maybe there is no collation. Maybe there's no way to tell. They just throw them in there. Number 203. Sizzling piece of bacon. I mean, that is a staggering card. Mancini, refractor. Okay, the good stuff. Come on, make it happen. Can you get the... Can you get both of them? Could you get the Tatis? Let's see, this is different. We haven't seen the Chris Davis yet. Ramos Garcia. Jesse Winker. Come on, baby. Nola. Heath Fillmore. Come on. Come on. Freddie Freeman. Devers, Lotto, Pujols, oh. <sighs> my heart gets going every time there's a horizontal. All right, last one. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for watching. Um, just gonna we're gonna just gonna raw rip with no luck, no luck rituals. Just getting straight to it. Two Tatises. It's a win. For sure. A win. What do we got so far? Nice little selection. We need we need some more out of here though. To really make it happen. We need a couple more. Because we're I mean, depending on what the Tucker and the Kopech are, we're right around break even at this point. A little, a little more, a little ahead. Tucker, another one of those. Maybe that's a good sign. What, what was the Tucker? I can't remember. Heath Fillmore. I guess I'll put him over here. X Factor packs need to pay off. Dansby. Ooh, there's a pretty one. That'll do. That's what I was talking about. Oh, 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 what a pack. Look at this pack, guys. Look at this pack. Let's see. I, I will definitely send this away. If it is worthy, got a little scratch right there. I don't know if it's worthy. Is that a scratch? What's that up there? I don't know if that's part of the 
I gotta compare it to the other one, see if that's part of it. I think it is, it is part of it. Well, we will put the trout, I don't know if that is a gem. We'll put them in the good guard pile. Put a little soft sleeve on them and reevaluate. Spicy though, definitely like it. What about the Acuna cup? It's a little thin on the bottom. A little bit of fluff on there. Think about that one too. Maybe, the maybe pile, but that is good potential. Even if you could get nines on those, I think they might, might be worth sending away. Mullins. Can't believe we got two negatives. Looking for some color. That would be nice. Get a numbered parallel. Judge. David Dahl Refractor. Oh, there we go. Oh man, what's that next card? What's that next card? I don't know, it might be a big one. Is that what I think it is? Oh no, it's not. So close to the Tatis, it's blue and everything, but the Eloy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I think I might have just got a thumbprint. Okay, well, we're, we're making good ground. That definitely adds to the potential profit. And man, oh man, that could have been a bad card. As it is, it does have potential. If he keeps, if he, if he does again this year, what he was doing last year, I'd, I'd send that one off. I'd send him away to the grade shop, to the gem store. Willy, Willy Cup. Strikerbreaks.com, go subscribe, it's free. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Soto Refractor, Soto Cup Refractor. Now we're talking, now we're building it up. It's a little, I don't know if that's a little scratch over there. That's it though. It's centered, a little piece of fluff right there. That card is probably gonna go. But I'm gonna have to look at it under the light a little bit better. is nasty loving it we got these ones are guaranteed not guaranteed but most likely tens and then we got some potential nines or maybe tens okay the x fractor packs so this is a different collated box i think we got potential here with the eloy I haven't seen that yet come on baby beautiful judge I mean that might even be something that's grade worthy put them over there the Lugo rookie where are you at Tatis and do her cup last one wish me luck
Carlos Santana. Duggar. Blanco. Chapman. And Andrews. Well, well, well. Successful. It was a successful rip. Got one of these. Got two of these bad dogs, and they are beauties. They are beauties. Hopefully they gem up. Not sure. It, they look centered. They look like there's no scratches on there. We'll have to see. Couple of good X-Fractors in the Tucker and maybe Kopech. We'll have to see, but I think they're worthy of getting graded just based on the value of these X-Fractors. End up, you know, not very many prisms. Two prisms? I might have not put all the prisms in here. There, I bet you there was a couple more that I missed. Decent stack of refractors. The Mookie's pretty nice. I'd consider sending that Mookie off too. I'm gonna put him in the in the maybe in the maybe pile, because that is a refractor, and just judging by what the other ones are going for, I don't know, 50 to 100 in a gem, maybe? Have to do a little more research. So we got the Mookie, we got this Judge X Fractor, we got the Soto Refractor Cup, Brandon Lau Prism, that was one of them, uh, Nimmo somehow got in there, got the Tucker Flash, Kopech, the Otani Cup, Got two negatives. Sean Reed Foley and Goldschmidt. Another Lau. Cunha Cup. Got a Trout Refractor. And a Trout Base with, I think that's just a, I think that comes off. You know how you get a little piece of white from the card and it just kind of smears? I think that's what that is. Got a Soto Cup. Straight up Kyle Tucker rookie and another Acuna Cup. So awesome rip. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all later.